Hey, welcome to Lone Life Fighter. Today we are working with the jab. Today is about the jab. So we're going to work on how to set up your stance, basically, and then how to get that jab going. We've got a drive jab. We've got a step jab. We use a step jab a lot today. Um, the drive jab is coming because it's a, it's a punch that develops other punches. So, But like I said, the jab is, is a punch that's going to uh, come before everything else. It's going to set every punch up. It's going to set your distance up. It is, it is it when it comes. It's the number one punch. Matter of fact, I call it punch number one. I yell out to my fighters, one, one, one. That means throw the jab. <laughs> um, that's what we're working on today. The jab. Jab is the most important punch in boxing. End of story. The jab is the most important punch in boxing. Okay, understand that. You got to make it perfect. If you have a good jab, you're a good fighter. If you have a bad jab, probably not a very good fighter. Okay, so this is it, man. Work on this. This is a, a most important punch you're going to learn. Most important punch you are going to learn in boxing ever is going to be this jab. All right, so let's get to it today. starting out the training session today today is the jab today's all about the jab we're gonna get that warm-up like always so you're gonna warm up the arms shake them out everything's ballistic ballistic stretchings when you shake out like that stretch and round the arms roll the shoulders roll the arms ballistic stretching is what you're doing shake out your neck shake out everything <clears throat> a little bit now we are going to Work on the obliques. Work on that spine on the back and the obliques. All we're doing is loosening up the back. Loosen up the back. Black at the back. Get those obliques warm. Get that back warm. Loosen the back up. At least for my old butt, man, that's the hardest thing to get loosened up in the morning when I'm doing this. Um, that's it. Get those legs loosened up. And all you're doing, remember now, everything is turning the shoulders. All punches, boxing is shoulders, turning the shoulders. So that's what we're doing, getting that back warmed up. Instead, I'm just doing blocking, and then I'm shooting punches, and I'm turning my shoulder. Just getting it, get the body ready for the motion. The motion of the boxing. Loosen up them shoulders more than anything. My shoulders are a wreck. I've been doing this since 1988. My shoulders are a disaster. So make sure you loosen them shoulders up, man. Now we are going to work on a jab today. Now that jab, like I said, the jab is the essence of boxing. It is everything. It sets everything up. It starts everything off. If you are a good fighter, you have to have a good jab. I said just shake up, do a little shadow boxing if you know a little bit of boxing, do a little shadow. If you're learning for the first time, never done any of this before, then that's fine. Just do what I'm doing, just shake out. Basically, just shake out, you know? Wake up, man. Just wake up. Let's wake the body up. Like I said, we're doing the same thing now. We're getting the hamstrings and the back warmed up. That's all, bring those knees. You want to cross the elbow over the knee. That's all we're doing here. And then I'll uh, elongate that. And now I'm going. Now I'm going right hand to left toe, left toe to right hand, and right hand to left toe. And right toe to left hand. You know, <laughs> that's what we're doing now. And like I said, you're not. It's it's not. You're not going gangbusters. You're not going crazy here, trying to. You know, it's like you're doing a big athletic workout here. You're just loosening up, man. Just stay loose. Now this is the end here. You know, I'm really trying to. Breathing in it, and I'm slowly breathing out. Just a little ballistic. See, I'm just pumping, just just trying to wake that back up, loosen it up. Going to the left side of the feet, going to the middle, going to the right side of the feet. That's it. And then I'll, I'll blow all the way out here. And when I come up, I want to shake out. Shake those shoulders, shake that back, shake everything out, shake out. We're going to get ready. 
get this jab going. Okay, so now, first thing we're gonna do, like I said, wake your body up, use that line. Go left side, the right side of the line, do little jumps, work on your footwork. Now the first, just like always, we're gonna work on the footwork. Working on the footwork. First thing you do, you're getting that jab, you're working on the footwork. Okay, make sure we got nice, stable, nice, stable footing. That's it, and then we're just going forward and backward. Balance and control. That's it, balance and control. Stable foundation. And today, we're going right after it now. We're going forward, backward, forward, forward, backward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. Now, this is what's coming. This is, we're just getting warmed up to what's coming. This is not today. This is going to be coming the next, to the next set of exercises, the next training session. We are going to start lighting that right hand up correctly. We're not going to throw a right hand like we're, you know, like uh, Ollie used to call it the ghetto blaster. We are not doing that. You are not going to see that in the series of videos. But that's all. We're getting ready to turn that shoulder over for the right hand. We're turning the shoulder over for the jab, and we're turning the shoulder over for the right hand now. As it moves forward and moves backward. Remember, when you go backward, it's like you're going through the water in a pool. You're going forward, it's the same thing with that jab. Shoot, going through the water, making your body as skinny as possible. That's it. And breathe. That's it. Today, we're going to add that jab in there today just getting warmed up with that right hand Let's see just getting warmed up we're not doing it today but we're getting warmed up for it forward and backward that's it forward and backward foot movement want to get used to that pattern an in and out pattern in and out in and out in and out what's my favorite burger joint in and out love me some in and out burger man <laughs> but that's what we used to yell, in and out, in and out, in and out, going in, going out, going in, going out. And eventually in one of these videos, we'll be doing left and right. But right now, in the beginning, we are going in and out, moving in, moving out. Never have too much weight all on one foot. Okay? We call that looking over the cliff. If you look over the cliff, you will fall off it. All right, let's do the jab now. So here we are, we're set. That shoulder is forward. Arms are right there, I'm skinny, and there's that shoulder. There's that shoulder. We're just doing a curl. Curl up right there, and there you are. Now you're looking over your knuckles, bringing it, and turning it over. Now, if you notice, the elbow does not go outside of my body. My elbow, as well as my shoulder, is inside of my body, lined with my body. All right, that's a skeletal system. You have to use that, okay? Now, I know you've watched fights on television, and you say, hey, this guy had his elbow flared out, and he was really good, and he did wonderful, and that's great, and that's wonderful. Bullshit. All right, follow what I'm telling you. Follow the instructions I'm giving you. You will be ungodly surprised at the result you get with this punch if you do it the correct way and the way I'm telling you to do it. I'm only saying that because I've learned it through the lessons of my life. I've thrown it other ways and I've thrown it this way. There's a significant difference, as my trainers have taught me, when I turned professional out here. I came out to Las Vegas, turned pro, and I said, here, that's great for amateur. This is how you throw a professional jab. Keep the elbow in line with the body. Turn the shoulder over and turn the wrist over. Right there. That turn of the wrist, turn of the knuckles, is what breaks the skin. Yes. That's called boxing. You break the skin, you develop cuts on your opponent, and your opponent is done. That is how you do it. That is a professional boxing punch. Now we're showing it in the front, we're showing it on both sides, right there, and you turn it over. 
that elbow never flares out to the side. It's just like a screw going into the wall. Like a drywall screw, screwing right into the drywall. Boom, right there. When you come in, shoop, and it cuts. Believe me. If you turn the knuckles in to where the knuckles are in the, the, the back side of that hand is pointing at your opponent, and then you use your shoulder and you turn your elbow over and keep it in line with your body and turn that punch over, you will cut the skin. This is a professional jab, not an amateur jab, not a patty cake, I'm in class learning how to box jab. This is a professional jab. You will cut the skin because it is the point is to make your opponent quit or make the doctor say you're done. You cannot see. You are bleeding and you have uh, hematoma and you're bleeding. Now see? Now there it is. I cannot move. So you take your, you can move my hand and my arm past that bag. So you line up with the bag so you keep your body correct. And then you turn it over. This is how you train yourself to throw a straight in-line jab and turn it over. Okay, right at the end, turn that jab over and turn the shoulder with it. There it is right there. Get used to this. Your wrist will hurt. Believe me, your forearm, sorry, your forearm will ache. Mine did for months. And then I just, my muscles developed. And I threw this now. This is the only way I can throw a jab is like that. And this was my thing. I'm not a hard puncher. I don't knock people out. And back in the day when I was, you know, young buck fighting, I didn't knock people out. I made them quit. I made the doctors come in and stop the fight because they could not stop bleeding. Because I would rip. Yes, right there. So you, you tear the flesh. That's what the punch is. So now we're going to step. This is called a step jab. You're in and you're out. You step with it and you bring it back. So I call this Pinocchio syndrome. I like to call it like a puppet. So not a puppet, like a uh, yeah, like a Pinocchio. You got a string attached from your ankle to your jab wrist. So they're going to go together. They work together. There's that curl. I'm looking over the top of my knuckles. I'm turning it over and they're coming back at the same time. So the foot and the hand work together. Foot and hand, hip and shoulder work together. Nice and easy. Moving in and out. Nice. All right. If you can, if you can dance, you can fight. If you can salsa, you can fight in and out. There it is. There it is, in and out. Elbow is inside, in line with the body. Turn the shoulder over. Now, if you notice, uh, you guys will feel this. You can't really see it on video. Your latissimus, that means your big back muscle, that lat, okay, that attaches there. Use that to throw this jab. Use that to throw your punches. You're gonna feel a lot more power and a lot more flip, and you're gonna be able to flip on the hip, and you're gonna feel more power in it, more base more structure in your punch when you use that latissimus, that back muscle. All right. So like I said, your hips are up. And you're looking over the knuckles. Okay. You do like doing a crunch. In your stance, you want to be doing like a crunch. Okay. So your, your hips are up. And you're crunching, making yourself small, as we used to say back in the day. I don't know how they say it anymore. But in the boxing gyms back in the uh, 80s and 90s, we said, make yourself small. All that means is do a little bit of a sit-up, crunch, do a little crunch, and then shoot everything out of that crunch. There it is. Step and back. In and out, as we say. In and out. That is the step jab right there. Step in, step out. The step jab. Step and go. Okay, so now we're going to show it from here. So now these lines are lined up to where your opponent, you cannot touch your opponent from these lines. Get yourself based, feel your foundation, elbows in, okay, there's your sit up, okay, do a little crunch, hips up, rest your elbows on your hips, rest them right there, you will have to, you won't have to work you, any energy, just rest your elbows inside right there, hips up, and I would rest my elbows right on my cup from boxing, just rest them right there and shoot the punch from the hip. So that's it. Now you see I'm in my line. I cannot touch that bag from that line. 
cannot touch it, cannot touch it. Even turn the shoulders, can't touch it. So I have to take my steps, step, jab to get there. Step, all right, then I'm in, out, in and out. Turn the hand over. I cannot touch the bag till I step. There I am, and then I'm out using the jab. Today's all about the jab, guys. All about the jab. Okay, keep that crunch. Make yourself small, in and out. There it is. There it is. Push off that back right there. Step in and step out. That's it. That's it. Nice and easy. And pretty soon you'll get to a, a comfortable version of it. Yeah. And keep your hands in front of you, guys. That is really not taught anymore. Keep your hands in front of you. Don't put your hands down to the side. I don't want to see your face. I really, nobody really cares. They want to see what you can do. All right. And what I would tell my fighters about keeping your hands up. This is something that I had to learn how to speak to my fighters. Everybody's a badass. Everybody wants to be a big, big, ugly, mean fighter. Okay. So I don't need my hands down. You can't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, they can. All right. But the thing is, is don't keep your hands up for you. Nobody gives a shit. Don't keep your hands up for you. You keep your hands up for your family, for your loved ones, for your wife, for your girlfriend, for your mother, for your father, for your kids. You keep your hands up for your loved ones because they do not want to see you get hit. Think about it. You don't want to see your loved ones get hit. Think about the people you love the most. You want to see them get hurt? No. So you keep your hands up for the ones you love. I don't give a shit what you think. You keep your hands up for the other ones, the ones that matter to you in your life. That's why you keep your hands up. Not for you. You keep your hands up for the ones you love. They do not want to see you get hurt. End of story. There should never be another, another conversation about that ever. Keep your hands up for the ones you love. Now here, here we are. So we're using the jab to go backwards. And that's going to give us spacing so they can't come at us. You never keep your hands down. That is bullshit. All right. Hands in front of you. Elbows down. Hands in front of you right there. You're in the pocket making yourself small. Yep, hands in front of you. You push off that back foot. There's a step jab. There's a drive jab. Drive jab is when you're driving the jab forward and you're stepping forward. You're driving. It's like you're plowing through the snow driving forward with the jab. A step jab is when you step in and step out. There's a step jab. Sorry, that was a drive jab anyway. So now we're going to go backwards. Now we're working on distance. We're keeping that jag, jab out mainly so he's not just walking right in. And if he touches that jab, you know he's in line for that right hand, which we'll be turning over in the next, uh, in the next video. We're working on your step jab and working on your drive jab. That's it. Staying in line. Shoot the jab, forwards and backwards. Stepping and driving. There we go. We'll work on that head movement too. That's coming. That's coming. Like I said, each video's got its reason. And that's it. Forward and backward. Working that step jab. Working that uh, drive jab. That's how we're doing it. It's a good one today, guys.